Before we take a look at Energy Plus, we have to look at the process of installing Energy Plus, which isn't as easy as installing some free software packages, and so it merits an actual walkthrough. So the first thing that we've got to do is go to the downloading page. The downloading page is available at apps1.eere.energy.gov backslash buildings backslash energy plus. You could also just Google downloading energy plus and it would likely take you to this page. So we go ahead and we click download energy plus and this will take us to a page where we need to sign in. Now please note if you've ever downloaded energy plus before you likely have an account created here. If you do not, you have to select the I am a new user option. And for instance, we'll just enter a fake email. And we click submit. And it will ask you to fill out a brief survey in order to continue. Then it will email you a password. So let's go back and I already have an I already have a login. So I'm just going to log in. A returning user. And I click submit and it takes me to the page to download the software. Now, what's important to note here is there's actually several versions of Energy Plus available and it runs on Windows, Mac, or Linux, 32-bit or 64-bit. I have a 64-bit Windows machine. The license agreement is here, and so read through the license agreement. I've already read through it, and I can accept and continue. It will give you an install password. This will also be emailed to your email address, which we'll cover in a minute. So you could copy and paste this right now, rather copy it and then click download energy plus I'm going to click save file and it's going to take some time to download it as it is 92.1 megabytes in the meantime let's take a look at the email that we received the email simply contains some directions and it gives you your password we have to blur out the password here so at this point the download of the install file is complete and to install it we can simply double click on this if you're using Firefox otherwise you'd have to navigate typically to your downloads folder and double click this. I'm going to go ahead and select run. That may depend on your permissions. Obviously all companies have different setups. If you have to run it as an administrator you may need to check with your IT personnel or you may need to actually have your IT personnel install this. It's automatically going to install into the latest versions folder. And since this is version 7.2, it's going to create a 7.2.0 folder. We'll go ahead and click next. Typically the default selections here are what the average person would need. In fact, they're more than what the average person would need. So let's go ahead and click next. And here it requests our password. Now please note, this is the password that was sent to you in your email. This is not the password that you have with your account. And I'll give you a hint since I have to blur the password out, but the password will be some sort of jargon string that's not words and lowercase and uppercase letters and also contains numbers. And so it will run through the installation, which goes relatively quickly considering the amount of materials that are installed. And here it's just asking you if you want to associate your files, IDF files, IMF files, and 
EPG files to be associated with the Energy Plus program. And depending on other programs you have, if you are familiar with those extensions, you may or may not want to. My guess is that you will want to associate those files. If you're kind of a computer nerd, you'll know how to do that on the side anyway. But for most of us folks, it's easiest to just associate the files right away. At the end of the install, just like almost any other install, you can display the README file. We're not going to do that because we're going to walk through a tutorial anyway. So let's go ahead and click Finish. And at this point, if we click on our Start menu, we should see the Energy Plus IDF editor has recently been added. There's a number of other things that we're going to discuss in the file structure coming up. But at this point, Energy Plus is now installed, and the question is, what does that mean?